New into stock, we have a 2013 13 plate Ford Focus 1.6 TDCI Econetic ZTEC 5 door. Bit of a mouthful there. Car's lovely, it's done 63,000 miles. Um, the fuel economy, urban 65.7, extra urban 83.1, and combined is 76.3. Nought to 60 time of uh, 11.8 seconds. Top speed of 116 miles per hour out of a 104 brake horsepower engine. Um, really nice car, finished in um, frozen white with uh, grey cloth sport seats. I'll just take you for a ride in it now, um, but it's also zero road tax, so really economical, cheap to run car. The uh, Focus is a, a really, really nice car to drive. Um, I had one for about six months, a few years ago. Did a lot of miles in it, up and down to London. Beautiful car, very, very economical. All the stuff on it that you could ever need. Great specification. This one's got um, dual five-spoke alloys and uh, finished in frozen white with this grey and gosh what was it called gecko and grey cloth um, sports seats it's um, got CD radio it's the Ford sync system which again is very very good it has Bluetooth hands-free it also has audio streaming quite an easy system to use car starts playing your music off your phone as soon as you get in it, if it's switched on of course. Um, it's got electric front windows and wind up rears which don't particularly bother me because very rarely have passengers in the back but uh, it's uh, something to consider. Air conditioning, the air conditioning in this car is working absolutely spot on. got quick clear front screen, heated front screen, which is a, a great option, especially in the winter. Height and reach adjustable multifunction steering wheel, electric door mirrors, remote central locking as most cars are these days, uh, but it's not the keyless uh, entry or keyless go, which are the ones that tend to get stolen rather easily, so I prefer I prefer a car that has actually got a key that you put in the ignition. So this ticks all the boxes there. Back seats fold down, gives you plenty of luggage space. Rear wash white, it's got an integrated rear spoiler, integrated to the tailgate that is. And uh, the car will do up to 83 I think it's 83.1 miles to the gallon. In all honesty, I never achieved anything like that using the exact same car. However, I was regularly getting over 60 and, and I was pleased with that, with a bit of everything, you know, driving thrown in. reset that and see what it gets up to on the motorway it was showing 43.1 average miles to gallon which again is, is pretty good um, but it has been ticking over around the garage and uh, while I've been photographing it just great steering but the, the best thing I think about Ford cars and all Ford cars the, the manual is the gearbox it's just, it's brilliant. Um, Ford should make gearboxes for everybody else. Uh, they're, they're just sublime. 
just it's it's as easy as that. It's as all others are it's sprung across the, the gearbox so from reverse or first or fifth or sixth if you just push it forward goes into the middle and then we'll go straight into third for first slight pressure and the same into second and uh, it's gearboxes are, are really second to none I would say you the height and reach adjustable steering wheel there before we set off again and people complain steering's great acceleration's great it's a good looking car Just Gordon Bennett. I'll go this way. I don't. I don't fancy my chances behind that guy because he's no idea where he is or what he's doing. Or who's behind him. So just pay attention to the gearbox. It's Join the traffic in front of him. It's a good turn of speed from the Ford there. Nice and smooth, no noises. Just get it up to, uh, we're doing 70 there, so 70. Set the cruise at a bit more, get to 70 with the cruise. Push the button in there, you've got well, switch on, set plus, set minus, and speed limiter. And also there, cancel and reserve, uh, resume, sorry, not reserve. So we're doing 70 miles an hour, 71 to be precise, at 1750 revs. Engine's hardly working. The fuel economy there is going up steadily. I reset it back there and it's 44.4, 46, 7, 9, 45. It's just, just climbing up. So uh, set it on the motorway and uh, should return you many miles to the gallon. Just see, resume there, yep. Pull it towards you and it uh, resumes. We've got music playing from my phone now. Uh, I'll just turn it up to show you. The phone's in my pocket. Bit of a depressing record there, but the Ford's a nice car to drive. Lately by Stevie Wonder, if anybody is wondering. You've all 
also got here control for the menu. It's now up to 53.9 miles per gallon. I'm sure if we could carry on up the motorway, it would get even more economical. Um, we've got the eco drive gear shifting. say there there's three there's three icons just get around this roundabout first before I mess about with buttons on the steering wheel there we go round the roundabout all right good we're uh we'll do all right it's okay I thought he was going to accelerate and go through the uh, lights there, um, but he's not done. It's a traffic officer, so we'll let him off. So there we've got we've got three icons. We've got gear changes, and at the moment it's got two segments filled in. It's like a well five-leaf clover. Two segments filled in. Let's just see. So we've got gear shifting, anticipation, and speed. So I, I've got, I'm filling segments in as we go along there. It's a fresh start, so I've got two segments on everything. Although I have to say to myself, I, I should have five segments on gear changing. This is a real good road, lovely sweeping bends where you can really show the uh, the car off. But we've just uh, tucked in. Passwithyouday.co.uk. Good anticipation of the bend there. <laughs> oh. I've got so much to do. Just got back from holiday, first day back, tons to do. Oh, and it's going the same way. Just goes to show you, three Range Rovers going that way and one behind me. I'm losing the will to live behind this guy, so I'm going to pull off and show you how to um, 
stop start first thing to do switch that off in my opinion does absolutely no good for any of the engine components your clutch your engine mountings and yourself when you're getting shaken about right okay I'll uh, just show you first of all how to delete a mobile because mine's uh, mine's in here so sync connected so I'll disconnect that forget this device forget so that's it I'll, I'll turn it up as well because there's voice control which I never use and, and I don't think it ever needed inventing but there you go you, you might do I'll just show you how to delete a, a mobile from the uh, sync system in this Ford uh, first of all click phone you've got add Bluetooth close searching for past paired phones menu sync settings just go down there clock audio sync application sync settings so click on sync okay you've got Bluetooth on which that's something else if the Bluetooth's not switched on if it's not pairing go into that menu make sure there's a tick next to uh, Bluetooth so we've got along here add retry cancel it's gone it's looked for a phone those correspond to these buttons here so we'll cancel that you've got Bluetooth devices down to Bluetooth devices click OK you've got Barry's phone and John's phone add delete so I want to delete mine again add delete connect so delete is that second button there delete delete Barry's iPhone yes that's it my, my phone's gone so now in order to pair one again from any screen uh, we're on the radio at the moment what, what I always do I go into the phone first it's not necessarily what the manufacturers tell you to do but I, I always onto settings onto Bluetooth onto phone searching for past paired phones you've got add Bluetooth and close so I want to add one corresponding button there Search please begin to the pin provided by sync okay it's saying hands-free first but I'm sure it will yeah there you go it's changed to sync so into sync taking its time here we go so the pin is 085524 085522 oh missed two there four and then pair I don't want it to uh, allow my contacts and favorites to sync but you will so don't allow Pairing that. successful please check your device and if necessary grant sync permission to access it for your safety Please stay alert to changing road conditions and use Sync's voice activated features while your vehicle is in motion. Well, it's also asking me, do you want to set Barry's iPhone 10 as a favourite phone? Yes or no? Uh, yes. That's that done. Another great thing about this Sync system is if you go into your iTunes, whatever's playing there, look at the bottom the red triangle with three red circles it says sync there if it doesn't just click on that you see sync there if it's on iPhone click sync it will now play if we're going to auxiliary it's playing uh, it's streaming audio from my phone to the uh, sync system um, if you just go to auxiliary again you see there there's an arrow to the left if we click that arrow goes in and you can you can select the media you want that's it I'll now continue our drive nothing coming
very comfortable and lovely car to drive. The most sought after colour combination at the moment as well, white. Can't have a very good view of uh, what's coming up from six feet behind a big lorry. I've, I've got to say, and I doubt very much whether the lorry driver can see him in his mirrors. just shows you how good diesel engines are. I was in third gear, had my foot off the clutch, and the car was just basically ticking over, but doing 20 miles an hour along the road without stalling.
go, we're in fifth now. Foot off the accelerator, foot off the brake, the car's ticking over at just short of a thousand revs and we're doing just over 30 miles an hour. That's how much low end torque this engine has. Cruise control without cruise control. Fantastic car.